Thank you very much. Um, now you have um, some uh, taste of one of the old tradition from west part of China, which is Uyghur in Xinjiang, um, um, Uyghur area. Um, my name is Wu Man. Um, we're so great honored to be um, that the Borderlands concert will be, uh, you know, we're now be a part of the uh, uh, Singapore International Festival of Arts. Um, I wanted to say, um, I was born in China, and uh, first time I heard the Uyghur music, uh, which is from a radio, um, and uh, always very loud and fast and in a very happy mode always. That's my impression when I was little. Um, later on we have TV and I, I saw a lot of Uyghur music and Uyghur dance from TV. Um, until 2007, I met Sandovar. I studied with her um, for the Uyghur tradition folk songs and I realized when I was little, that was not quite authentic Uyghur music or Uyghur tradition. Um, and furthermore, when um, 2013, uh, director Kang San and I went to Ulumuchi and to meet all the musicians here tonight, um, that experience um, really convinced me I wanted, first of all, I wanted learn um, that tradition. And secondly, I really hope I could have opportunity to introduce Uyghur tradition um, to outside of China. Um, so that's why we are here. <laughs> um, so really thank the festival give us this opportunity and to share this old tradition uh, with the Singapore's uh, audience and with you here tonight. Um, you heard that's a very old tradition which we call Mukam. Um, Mukam is the tradition, the culture tradition throughout all the uh, Central Asia area, or it basically is an Islamic uh, music tradition. It's like epic, uh, with including dance, music, instrumental, you see the singer singing and the dance, and also poetry. Um, uh, Mukam also um, exists in many countries in Central Asia, um, in Azerbaijan, in, in Uzbekistan, in Turkey, in Iran, so on, so on. But Uyghur Mukam is one of the oldest one and one of the longest one. Um, we have uh, 12 Mukams, and each Mukam in different mode, but each mukam have three hours long. So uh, when Mijiti Lars told me, uh, if we play the whole mukam 12, gonna be 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, but one mukam, if we start the beginning, uh, introduction and interlude, and then dancing and singing, and the music instrument, and will be three hours. So, <laughs> so when we decided this program, um, I asked them, say, I said, I want the audience to hear pure, authentic, uh, authentic Mogam. So how short we can play? And they said, oh, yeah, we can play 50 minutes. And I said, no, we have to cut shorter. <laughs> and uh, so you heard this is very, very short, like 25 minutes. Um, so just give you a little taste. Um, you see the translation of both Chinese and English is very, very deep. It's, it's just so beautiful, the words. Um, uh, and uh, um, also, I wanted um, to, next, we're going to introduce you uh, Uyghur folk songs um, from uh, different parts of, uh, of Xinjiang area. Uh, Xinjiang basically literally translated as new territory. So it's west part. So the concert of borderland also because Xinjiang is on the borderland between China and China side and also uh, Central Asia side. So that's exactly the borderland. Um, 
So we are going to hear um, folk songs and some instrumental solo is very, you closely hear this, this tradition. Um, to me, I'm very excited to be here. Um, so we'll hear folk songs from Ili, Couscous and Yalu.
let me let me introduce each of um, our uh, Uyghur mast. Um, some of our tuition, a nice voice. Um, um, she played dutar as well, dutar. Um, uh, in the middle, <laughs> look at me right now. Vijiti uh, Yanus. <laughs> Uh, he plays an instrument called tambour, very close to my instrument, that's tambour. Um, and we have uh, on the hand drum, Da, and um, Alif Laozhi, Alif Sadiq. <laughs> and also we have uh, our fabulous dancer, uh, Dirana Mehmeti Yimi. And we, we also have two very young, young musicians on the stage, sort of like next to young generation. And they're all both from uh, Ulumuchi. And we have Kanum, um, Adili on the Kanum. <laughs> His last name, uh, Abdullah Kalim. <laughs> and then we also have here uh, Rashadi Abdul Rahman on um, that instrument called Satar. <laughs> so now back to my instrument. I, I'm sure you know what is this instrument called? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, we all know pipa from China is a Chinese traditional instrument, but actually pipa came from Central Asia. Uh, was not Chinese invent Chinese not invented pipa this instrument. Um, Two thousand years ago was introduced from Central Asia, which is Persian area. So basically, pipa is ancestor with all those instruments um, from Central Asia. And of course, during thousand years, Chinese developed the. Pipa become become Chinese instrument and very very much speaking Chinese language now. Um, so this version very much in Qing Dynasty, which is 19th century version of Pipa. So quite modern instrument right now. Um, I I've been playing this instrument for many I don't know decades, <laughs> and uh, um, I'm always very curious about what's the history behind uh, what if if Pipa play with Pipa's and sister's instrument, and what about the sound, like how? And so many questions in my mind. Um, that's why we have this collaboration. And um, also I um, studied with uh, uh, another musician from uh, um, Kazakhstan, uh, Ch Chinese Kazakhstan, and he plays a dombra. It's a sim similar also plucking instrument. And I learned a song, it's called uh, Ku, K U I means song of Kazakh, and I arranged it for my pipa solo piece. So here is Q, song of Kazakh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we're going to uh, introduce you a very popular older term. Uh, um, it's called ajem. Ajem is it's, it's a traditional piece, but it mo me mostly I'm sorry mostly for the tambour solo. And uh, basically in Xinjiang, in Uyghur area, people live there. They everyone knows what is ajem. So I asked the Miji I said, what is what does that mean ajem? They said, I don't know. It's like, what do you mean the pipa? You know, <laughs> so <laughs> um, anyway, so um, and it's very popular tone, but it's very difficult. And and they think if it's any instrumentalist would could play in Xinjiang would play a gem, that means you're you're this, you know, you're in the high quality. So, but each player uh, they play differently. They have a basic structure, but but a lot of improvisation in in, in there. So I'm trying to learn. Uh, from a Michiti Laoshi, but every time he played differently. So <laughs> I'm struggling with my music. <laughs> anyway, see what happens tonight. <laughs>
başlandım ey yayrım Ay derdim ay oy Başlandım ey yayrım Cilim o Stop it!